what is up guys it's the smithcrafts here and we're back with another let's play video kinda on this server here and today we got a big big project coming right up coming you guys' way today we're gonna be filling up all these shulker boxes not only that we're gonna be filling them all up with this beautiful stuff the sand and we're gonna be dumping them oh iron golem dying up there putting in work we're gonna be shoving all that stuff down at a ocean monument that I found and looted in a live stream the other day. And uh, we're gonna be getting a guardian farm going. Maybe that won't get done this episode, but we're definitely gonna empty out all the water this episode. So yeah, I'm gonna get to work on filling up these empty shulker boxes that are in here. And I will see you guys once that has been done. Alright you guys, so it's about an hour and a half later and uh, looks like I haven't moved but we were over at the desert and we got all these shulker boxes full of sand. We did have to break two of our shovels however and uh, we only have two, I, I kept the best ones for last obviously but yeah so we did a good job out there and now we just gotta fly out to the ocean monument and we will get started on the process of getting that all done i'll be right back once we're over at the monument all right you guys so we made it over to the ocean monument and i got the four pillars in the corner set up so what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to go ahead and start chucking down the outside walls of this thing now this definitely is not the fastest way to go about this I know don't need to tell me twice but I already did this once on that other world tour I might put the link for that up for that video up in the uh, top right hand corner if I don't don't judge me but yeah so we're gonna pretty much do that over and over and over until this whole entire ocean monument is filled in. So yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys with the theoretics of how this works. But yeah, we're going to do that. And we're just going to frame it out. And we'll try and sponge it. And I'll be back once we have the frame all done and dusted. Okay, you guys. As you can see, we got a little station set up with all our sand and all that stuff. We've used a lot of it already. So we're going to have to go grab some more if we want to finish the rest of this out. But as you can see, we have the perimeter all done and dusted around this thing. All that we have to do now is fill in the interior of it, which should be quicker than the exterior. And uh, so yeah, that should be a pretty good thing. But uh, I'm actually all out of time for tonight. This is gonna. This video is gonna take me multiple days to record and everything, and it's just because it's a huge project. I am going to have to do multiple days of work and all that stuff. So yeah, I guess I'll go to bed now, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Not in the morning after school. <laughs> all right, you guys. This place probably looks a lot, a lot different since the last time you guys saw it. I've put in a lot of work on it and uh, we're almost ready to get the last of the water out of the top here. I already went through last night and I got rid of all the water inside of the monument. I don't want to have to show you guys all that though because that could be boring but yeah so I went ahead and I placed sand all down in the middle here and then sand strips going out from the middle and uh, yeah so I just thickened up the walls on the outside and we got a bunch of sponge placement to do, so uh, I'm just going to get going with that. And after that's all done, we should have no water left in here. So that's going to be awesome. We're going to have the monument all done and dusted. All we got to do then is get rid of all the sand on the outside. And then we should be done. And then we got an ocean monument to work with and do whatever we want with. All right, you guys. So <clears throat> we have put in some work sponging it up over here as you guys can see I just finished the halfway point here so we're halfway done emptying out this entire ocean monument here we just have this side left to go so I don't really see why we wouldn't you know just go ahead and get it done I say let's just go do it alright you guys after almost two days of work and emptying and all this whole stuff 
We are on the last segment. And we should have plenty of sponges to get it done. This is a really good feeling even though we are not even close to being done yet. Because we still have to get rid of all the sand and everything. But you know, using the sponges does help save some time in that case. But I'm sure, you guys, I'm sure most of you guys know how we're going to get rid of the, the sand here. But yeah, I mean, <coughs> yeah, definitely still a lot of work to come because we still have uh, to build the actual guardian farm itself. But yeah, this is pretty much the gist of how I got rid of all the water. Uh, most of you guys probably do know how sponges work, but in the case that you don't know how the sponges on this game work, you can reuse them as many times as you want. You just have to go and put them in the smelter or in the furnace, not the smelter. You just have to go put them in the furnace every single time you want to reuse them. And uh, yeah, so we made some pretty good time on this thing. And uh, then you pretty much just punch all these guys away. So I pretty much ender pearl to the ones that I can't reach. And then, yeah, so that's the gist of that. And then once I am, um, so that's how you get rid of the sand. That's what I'm gonna do to all the sand here. I'm gonna place a, just run it along here and place a torch under all the sand here like this. You gotta time it good though. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get to work on that and I'll give you guys an update when uh, that's in the process of being done. Okay, you guys, so uh, we have half of it opened up here. As you guys can see, it looks pretty cool from up here. Once we get all this out of here, it's gonna look awesome. I'm excited, we'll cut back once it's all opened up. Okay, you guys, after many many hours of work we have finally got here it's completely emptied out of the water there's no water inside the monument there's no water outside of the monument it's just ready to go it's ready to be to have its innards ripped out and so that we can you know build our farm and everything as you guys can see i took all the water out of here using sponges and all that and all that stuff so I'm going to have to do something with the sand around here. I'll probably change it to glass. I don't know why I said it like that, but I'll probably change it to glass eventually. Just because I think that that looks much nicer. And, uh, but yeah, I think, I think we, oh yeah, I also chopped down all the trees on this island because you never know, having a nice island around right next to there while we AFK might be kind of cool for, I don't know, we could build a, Oh, we could build a squid farm here because this is honestly a great place for a squid farm. But that's all stuff for next for episodes to come, not next episode. But as you guys can see, is that if I take this Nether portal back, I went ahead and I changed up the entire uh, the Nether hub. I linked this to the to my little Nether hub that I've got going on here. And uh, I made a couple of changes to the Enderman farm, which I will show you guys in the next clip. Alright you guys, I actually just died. <laughs> uh, I just died going to get my... Going to the Enderman farm, I thought I would go try and pick up some more shulker boxes. Uh, which was a stupid idea, so... Now we lost a lot of good stuff. We lost our, all our mending armor, all our mending tools, and we have no mending books to come back with. <laughs> so we gotta go do some uh, AFK fish farming. And, but yeah, I'll show you guys what's happening at the, at the end farm. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that kind of sucks, but I guess you know you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to get back. So ah, I just hate the end because where I was flying, like you couldn't see the islands or there was like no blocks, so you had to like use the Y or like the F3 screen, you know, this the debug screen to check your Y levels, and I just stopped paying attention, I guess, and my Y level got down to below zero. And before I could before I could get out of that zone, like I had started to fly up, but I couldn't fly up fast enough. 
so I guess we just lost all our stuff and that really does do a number on our on ourselves unless no that that's a totally stupid idea but oh yeah we got some afk fishing to do we got to get do some mining because we just lost a ton of diamonds doing that but i'll show you guys what we did at the enderman farm i did a bunch of stuff to make it a lot better this yep it just keeps going better you guys just keeps getting better and better but yeah so this is what the enderman farm's looking like i changed a lot of stuff up and we added a bunch more carpets down and everything and it looks nice in here now. We got the enchantment table, the anvil, we got, we still have this sword at least, which is a good sword. And uh, as you guys can see, we still have, we have a ton of sand now. Like, okay, so those eight shulker boxes I filled up before, I ended up uh, getting twice as much as that and then another four shelter boxes full of sand so now we still have all that sand in our storage system back home and now we're completely out of shelter boxes so i just assumed like yo while i'm over here i'll go pick up some shelter boxes and obviously that went super super well because uh i'm an idiot oh this does work okay but yeah we gotta pick up some levels and this is an extremely loud farm, but here I'll show you guys how loud it gets. <laughs> Unless it like numbs out the sound or anything, but yeah, you guys can see how crazy the XP starts flowing in. And I had to do some adjustments and everything so that the walls and everything work perfectly, and except the Endermen don't shoot out the sides, but yeah, it works good now. And uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, I'm gonna get all my. I'm gonna work on getting all my stuff back and all that good stuff. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Probably the d most depressing end of an episode, well, ever. Other than we finished a huge task today. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I would really like some comments and uh, some opinions on what you guys think of this big project and what I should do with it. If you guys made it all the way to the end here, you know, leave a like and uh, subscribe to me if you want. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.